day in the life of an Amazon financial analyst working from office edition. So the office is almost 30 minutes for the transport ride away. I usually have to change one bus and a tram to get to the office. And right now I'm just rushing towards the bus stop because the bus is already here and I think it's leaving in two minutes. And the other thing is that the public transport here in Luxembourg is free for everyone. So that's the most convenient way. I definitely do not recommend getting uh, a taxi and also there is no Uber here in Luxembourg, so they have their own uh, web taxi. Is that what they call it? So let's get to the bus in time. And that is the bus right over there. Right now the bus is pretty empty. And I'm not the first one on it. I'm just waiting for maybe some other people. And the bus will be starting to ride in a couple of minutes. Let's see what that is like. Hello, hello, hello. Now, so we have reached uh, the tram station. The trams are much more consistent than the buses, they have a very fixed time. And the next one is going to be here in three minutes. So overall, uh, Luxembourg is quite small. Yeah, getting around in public transport, like from one end to the other, should not take you more than, let's say, 30 minutes or maybe uh, 45 to be exact. And yeah, the weather today is extremely foggy and cold. I usually start my day around 8.30 a.m. Sometimes it is a bit earlier if I have any meeting. But usually that is the time when I come online. The first thing that I do is clear my email, look for anything important that I might need to respond to first thing in the morning since we work with multiple teams across different regions. From there on, I move on to my calendar and see what my agenda is looking like for the day. In case if there is no meeting in the early half of the day, I start planning out what are the things I need to work on. And this is the cafeteria area where we have free coffee, milk and tea and you can get as many as you want throughout the day. I usually come here around 10.30 am because I do not like having my coffee first thing in the morning. After having my coffee, I see if there are any calls that I need to attend to. Since we work on multiple projects at the same time, I have to connect with multiple stakeholders and see what works needs to be done and that is where I start prioritizing my stuff and putting things into perspective. We usually don't have a lot of meetings in the later half of the day and usually around 3.30 to 4 p.m. that is when I start working on the projects that require most of my attention. It has 
actually been a very long day and I'm just heading back to the hotel now I'll probably grab something to eat All right guys, so finally made it back to the hotel and it's currently 8.30 p.m. It's been an extremely long day. Also, this is my last night here in Luxembourg. Tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving back for the UK. So yeah, it's been a pretty amazing week. Got to meet most of the team in person and overall the experience was good. And the reason why I'm late is that I was just stopped over at the city center, got something for myself. And yeah, so that was pretty much it. The rest of the day was pretty fine. Not that busy today. It was a Monday. And uh, yeah, so overall, a uh, good experience. So I'm just gonna head back to my room now, get something to eat, and probably pack and go to sleep as soon as I can. So I don't waste most of the day tomorrow and I don't get tired by the time I get back home. Yes, and that is it for the night and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And yeah, as you can see, it gets pretty dark and empty here in Luxembourg at night. Even the city center can be extremely empty after 7 p.m. And the buses do get a bit inconsistent so the waiting times become long. So if you're living in a place where you can only get by a bus and not by a tram, my advice would be to check that schedule in advance so you don't have to wait too long. But even in some cases, the buses do get delayed. So yeah, just make sure of that. And yeah, as you can see, this is actually a forest and uh, at night it becomes extremely spooky definitely not recommending anybody to go in there and even on the other side there is uh, like a forest where usually you can hear monkeys at night but even then with all of this it's still pretty safe like i haven't heard any stories as such yeah but just better to be careful about it yeah